All right, this is my update video. Uh, pretty much the chassis painted as much as I'm going to paint it. Okay, this is a daily driver. It's not going to stay looking this good forever. So I thinned out the wiring harness, got everything taped up. Uh, firewall's been bedlinered. Brake booster was sanded and painted. Wiper motor, I painted it too. Uh, new master cylinder to go on to replace that one because I don't know how old it is and I had the new one here. It is for a OBS truck, so it'll work fine, and it's for a three-quarter ton, so. Uh, but all this is done. Wiring thinned out. I've already powered it up with my jump box. Everything works. Here. I'll turn it on and show you. I really gotta fix these doors. But you come over here, there's the key beeper, heater blowers on and running, wipers, everything works. You hit the key and if the starter was, the starter was grounded, it, it'll try to turn over. As I told you, this bed underneath here, solid, no rot. So I'm going to start... I'm getting a, a little bit of uh keep looking at it i can't stand red okay i don't like the color red i can't stand red uh my favorite color for something like this gunmetal gray dark metallic gray blues uh white's fine but i can't stand orange yellow and red i just don't like them green's my favorite color but it's in here uh, it's on So next thing is to start cleaning it up get this is just dirt Brought the wife's bike in because it's getting cold. I'll get the cover on it. El Camino's in here. I gotta get the cover on it uh, I've already flushed out the s10 fuel system get all the race fuel out It's just got some 91 in it with some fuel stabilizer We blew all the lines out everything and then i let it run till it switched to gas which it's real easy to tell when it's on gasoline because the afrs change yeah it goes leaner when it's on gas than it does when it's on race fuel uh but you can see this side too is all rust free that's just staining from the dirt that's not rust but yeah it's all rust free i've got to figure out if I put pocket flares if it's going to cover them holes if not I'm going to weld them shut and then I'll body work it but tentatively it's going to get painted gunmetal gray my grandson wants me to paint it lime green and black he's a grave digger fanatic uh, so but it's not going to get painted I might put some black and lime green like stripes or something on it but i'm not painting it lime old truck lime green although it would look funky but i don't know i might get a wild hair in my ass and two-tone it but basically what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is it's gonna be gunmetal gray here the center is gonna be white and then the bottom's gonna be gunmetal gray again My grandfather had an old square body when I was in the end of grade school and the middle school. It was gray and white. Uh, just a three-quarter ton, two-wheel drive truck, big block truck. I love that truck. Uh, ended up putting a camper on it, go to the lake and stuff with, and go fishing. But I just always liked the truck, so I may paint it back like it. And if I do that, I'm going to... Well, regardless, it's going to get the grill, the bumpers, everything's getting blacked out. I've already got a set of late model mirrors for an OSB to put on it. I just got to wire the turn signals up when I put them on. Get the interior cleaned up, which the wife's going to do that. But I'm just waiting on the engine out the machine shop. Transmission's here. Bought a, I think I said it before, but I bought a TCI uh, Maximizer Turbo 350 for it. Set up for the 205. There's the 205 down there. But just a little quick update. 
Like I said, the, hack, the harness is hacked. I just got to tape it up, shorten them ground wires, throttle cables on it, switch the master out. And uh, I'm going to change all the loom because it's all dried out and start getting it back together. But I might uh, come in here and start painting it. So there you go. Everybody stay safe. God bless and later.